What is a title search? Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. In this week's video, I brought back my special guest, Nicole Marie Cohen from Elite Team Title. She's here to talk about all things related to the title search. What is it? How long does it take? And how far back does the title search go? Hi, Nicole. Thanks so much for sitting with me again. No problem. Happy to help. So today we are talking about the title search process. Mm -hmm. So what is a title search? Title search is we go back six years um, and we're looking for open mortgages, any sort of defects in title on your property that need to be taken care of, absolved prior to closing. Because again, we just want to make sure that that buyer is not buying the seller's problems in addition to their house. Got it. So when exactly in the transaction do you guys come in? So as we said in the last video, we're like the coordinator, but we don't come in right at the beginning. So mm -hmm. get your realtor, get your attorney, um, and you guys will take care of the appraisal with your lender. Mm -hmm. And we also want to make sure that the inspection comes back clean. We want to make sure that we have a really good, solid, pretty solid transaction before we order title insurance. And that's, you know, your attorney or your realtor will mm -hmm. contact us and we place that order and then our county searchers actually physically go to the county courthouse and the different mm -hmm. municipalities and we are flipping through um, what what's on record for your property. Mm -hmm. Is there um, is there a mortgage? Is there a HELOC that we didn't know about? Is there um, surveys that are on the property? And then they send that all back to us. Mm -hmm. um, our examiners take a peek, see what we need to be taken care of prior to closing mm -hmm. because the seller's attorney need to be getting payoffs, things like that. Mm -hmm. And then we type it up, neat binder, and then it gets emailed to everybody on the transaction. So the lender needs a copy, the buyer's attorney needs a copy, the seller's attorney needs a copy, mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of where we come in. And then, then it's all hands on deck as far as us coordinating with everybody to get your transaction closing. Got it. So that's interesting. I guess, um, you know, before I got into real estate or even before I bought a house, I, I didn't really understand how title searches work. I didn't realize that people actually go to the courthouse. They actually mm -hmm. flip through things. I guess I just assumed everything was digital these days, but it's not, especially if you go back as far as you said, 60 years, right? Yes. Um, not every county, I mean, we're slowly getting to the century with everything being online. <laughs> not every uh, title company does go to the county court courthouse and look at all that, but we mm -hmm. do. We send people out. We have great searchers. We worked at for a long, long time. It starts with our searchers. If they miss a mortgage, that is a huge liability for us and the buyer and everybody. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, you need to trust your title companies out there really doing their due diligence to make sure that it's a clean title policy. Yeah, and we talked a little bit about on, you know, that last video about picking a title company that has longevity and a good reputation. And, and we talk about this a lot, right? Surrounding yourself with the right team. Purchasing a home is one of the, you know, the biggest investments most people make in their lives. So when you're going throughout the transaction, you want to make sure that you're really surrounding yourself with the right people, the right realtor, the right attorney, the right inspector, and the right title company mm -hmm. to really make sure that you go through the process as protected as possible. Sure. Correct? Absolutely. How long does a title search take? If you're buying a house in February, we're going to be able to flip it around a lot quicker than if you're buying <laughs> specifically the middle of June. Mm, so okay. right now, we're taking about a week. Um, end of June, probably closer to like two weeks, but I'm, mm -hmm. we get it. Sometimes there's special rushes sometimes people forget to order title insurance um so we can start again we have those relationships with our searchers so if i say kate please don't hate me but i need this back in two days we're going to get them back to you in two days so mm -hmm. it's another thing where knowing everybody on your team you can make that phone call and call in that card that favor like oh. and i have with nicole before <laughs> like, i'm in a pickle please don't hate me can you please get this back to me by friday exactly exactly yeah. it happens and the sure. title the cost for the title search assuming that the transaction closes is paid for at closing correct? at closing yep so um if for some reason the transaction does not close let's say the title search um reveals something you know on title some kind of a judgment or lien that mm -hmm. can't be resolved and the transaction can't move forward then the um, potential buyer is only paying for the search, correct? They're correct. not paying for an insurance policy. They're not point. paying for a policy. They're not getting their own. We only just, we have to pay our searchers because mm -hmm. they spent time in the dungeons. Of yeah, they have actually gone there <laughs> flipping through. Yeah. I'm picturing somebody like in the movies where they go to the old computers at the library mm -hmm. and they flip through newspaper ads. That's what I'm picturing. So in the title search, you're not just searching the seller's property, right? There's there's actually searches against the buyer as well. Is that yeah. correct? Yep. So we run a judgment search. So, you know, if you've got unpaid debt to somebody, whether it's a, you know, a doctor who you skipped out on, we're mm -hmm. going to know. Um, and sometimes those judgments attach to the property. So so you may, this person may sell it, but it's still attached to the property because that person who placed judgment still wants to get paid. We see all sorts of fun things. Um, I just can't 
emphasize enough. Just be honest and upfront at the beginning. It will save so many head, so much time mm -hmm. and heartache at the end because mm -hmm. there are times where people try and hide things from everybody, and at the eleventh hour, we're going, uh, excuse me. You are married. Does your wife know you're selling this property? <laughs> Things like that. So we share. Uh, Nicole actually shared a really fun story. I'll say fun oh, um, in the last video about title insurance, about some things that came up in the search that were a bit of a surprise. So if you want to check that out, I have that linked above and below in the description. Yeah. So if you want some more information about title insurance specifically, check out that video because first comes the title search, then comes the title policy. policy. Yeah. Policy. Yep. <laughs> and when we say title work, if you hear that term, you know, during the transaction title work, that basically starts the process of everything related to title in the transaction. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. So you're attorney might say, well, we haven't gotten title work back. What is that? Um, after we get the search back and we examine it, we type it up, put it into that title binder, and that's what's getting um, you know, disseminated to all parties in the transaction. So, And everybody's looking for that. Mm -hmm. Seller's attorney wants to know what payoffs they need. The lender wants to know um, like what conditions we have. And your buyer's attorney also. Everybody wants a copy of the title binder. So here's another question, actually. There was a situation in the last video that you had brought up where um, you were talking about a couple sitting at closing and they had to sign off that judgments weren't theirs. Mm -hmm. So is that something that happens frequently on the judgment shows for buyers? If it, the name is similar or things like that, does that come up often? If your name is John Smith, I am apologizing now because your <laughs> judgment search will be no less than 750 pages long. I mean, to the point where emails get bounced back because the, the mm -hmm. file's too large because um, mm -hmm. we're pulling every every name similar. Mm -hmm. um, so then you're going through and you're, does this social match? No. Does this address match? Have I ever lived there? No. Is this person, have I ever lived in Albuquerque? No. So, and who does all the cross checking? Uh, you and your attorney. Mm -hmm. So I have somebody, this poor woman. <laughs> you being the buyer. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I had this poor woman call me. She was totally overwhelmed. You know, well, can you go through it for me? I can't. Yep. You need to tell me, is this you or is this your husband? We were dealing with, um, you know, dementia, things like that. So I, I, I can't vouch for that. That's mm -hmm. a huge liability. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to tell us, is this you or is it not? And you're going to sign an affidavit of title also saying that you did not lie. Mm -hmm. So so what happens if somebody does lie? If they say, oh, no, this isn't me, and, and they sign it and it is them. Eventually, you know, it's going to come back and we're going to find it and you're going to have to pay it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, also, if so you don't lie, if, if you're <laughs> telling us that it's not yours and the socials match, it's yours. You're not fooling anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of, not, oh, so, decent amount, juniors and seniors. Your kid had a DMV judgment against him, but it's not you. So it's just, okay, well, his social is this, and ours, Mars is this. Okay, not me. So, yeah, that's also fun. My parents are buying a house, and there's a junior involved, and we get back quite the judgment list on the son. And Can't the dad, really hide that from mom and dad. And parents are going, uh, no, not us, but that's certainly interesting. We'll be talking to Stephen about that. <laughs> yeah. Never realized that something like that could happen. Yeah. And this is really important too. If you're purchasing a home and you've got specific funds set aside for your down payment and for your closing costs and for your res you know reserves if it's an investment property, et cetera, and you've got a judgment out there and it, let's say it's a substantial amount of money, you're going to have to pay that off in order to close and that might cut into the funds that you need to close. So if mm -hmm. you need to pay off that judgment, you might not have the money you need now to be able to close on the transaction. So really just don't hide anything because in the end, you're really only hurting yourself and everybody involved in the transaction and it might cause you to not actually be able to close on what could be your dream home. So just keep that in mind that if, you know, great title companies are going to uncover that kind of stuff. So if you have any of that judgments or anything that you're questioning about, then that's something that, you know, just be upfront with and take care of it before you even go into the transaction. So Nicole, the last thing I wanted to talk about is, you know, when I work with sellers, we talk a lot in the beginning part of the process before you go on the market to get your home ready for sale, you know, staging it, photographs, pre-marketing, all that kind of stuff. Um, but one of the things that I always talk to sellers about is actually a service that Elite Team Title offers, which is a preliminary title search done before you even put the house on the market. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Sure, so here in the office, we call it bulletproofing your transaction. For $50 elite team title for our Keller Williams elite agents, uh, mm -hmm. for I mean, for counties that are online, we'll go and we'll take a look. Like, what are we up against? Mm -hmm. What kind of mortgages are we, um, you know, what do we need to know? And see if we can start taking care of that sooner. I say that a lot on the states where we, there might be more digging that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a hus maybe it's a wife selling a property and the husband took care of the finances and she's not really clued in on exactly what happened and when and how much. So mm -hmm. let's just figure it out now for $50 again. Mm -hmm. um, 
a drop in the bucket when you're considering what you're going to be getting back as a seller, mm -hmm. hopefully. Kind of what we do, we just kind of unearth those skeletons, start dealing with it now so we are not in the 11th hour, June 30th, like, ah, scramble, <laughs> panic. Yeah. In the height of the season. Yes. Yeah, so that's sort of a benefit, right? Know what those big things are ahead of time before you even go out on the market. That way, once you do find the buyer for your property and they do the full title search with whatever company they're using, at least you have some peace of mind that a preliminary title search was done, you've uncovered what you can uncover at least in the beginning mm -hmm. and you've taken care of it and got really ahead of the game because sometimes it's not easy as we talked chatted about a little while ago height of the market everybody's taking loans mm -hmm. bottom of the market everybody's closing mm -hmm. so if you took out a loan at the you know height of the market now that lenders out of business mm -hmm. who who absolved them and who are we looking for to get the track the information down on your current uh, mortgage or maybe one that you know, you paid off, but it wasn't properly discharged. Mm, so okay. stuff like that. Thank you so much, Nicole, for going over everything, both on the other video about, you know, all things related to title insurance and today to explain in depth into the title search process. If you have any questions, if you want to reach out to Nicole, if you have any title related questions or you want to work with Elite Team Title to get your title work or your title policy in place for your home purchase, I've included um, in the description box below all of her contact information, her company's contact information. And we mentioned this in the other video. I'll include a link again to the title cost calculator that you guys offer. Mm -hmm. um, that way you can go on and sort of get an estimate of cost for the title search and the title policy and, and all things related to that. Yeah. I'll see you next week. Oh my God, did that not record? Bye. <laughs> um, did we get that part on film? <laughs> it is. <laughs> I don't think that recorded at all. Shut up. You're amazing. <laughs>